welcome to 30 minutes of sizzling fun right off the stove of Shift Focus. So get your plates out and set your appetites for some music, dance, theatre and more with me Dipti Kumar. Brazil in Chennai. Hot gets hotter with football, samba and capoeira. Let the new festival by the park take you into the emotions of loss and make your sides hurt with a bunch of puppets. Jagjit Singh, live and in the flesh, right here on Shift Focus. Dance, music, football, most of us might have missed being part of the football fever earlier in the year. But hey, it's not too late. The Hindus Brazil Brazil, sponsored by Bose, visited the city and left us all feeling like we were at the heart of the football field. Except this field was a Sir Mutta Venkata Subara concert hall. It's a piece of Brazil right here in Chennai. Thank you for joining us on Ship Focus. Okay. Now, how is it to bring around Brazil, Brazil to India? Um, well, it's been great. We've been in Bangalore tonight. We're in Chennai. We're off to Goa and Hyderabad. Um, and uh, we've had a great time in India. It's been a new experience for everybody and uh, everyone's loved the people and the response has been fantastic. Yeah, the show is uh, the story of Brazilian football through the culture of Brazil and uh, the Brazilians are very happy to tell and show off their culture wherever they perform. We've toured all over the world with this show. Uh, we've been at London South Bank Festival, at the Edinburgh Festival, the biggest festival in the world. about creating inter inter intercultural relationships and they'll teach them a bit of capoeira and maybe they can you know teach them a bit of Bollywood dancing and we'll do Bollywood Brazil will be the next show. Please welcome Ananias Explosion! that as a warm-up session. With the adrenaline high, the Brazilian dancers stick to the stage in all their glory. The somber air transformed into a carnival atmosphere straight from Brazil. The drum beats reverberated through the auditorium and set the mood for what was in store. Well-toned dancers who are record holders for their ahem, <laughs> physique, not only danced bare-chested and set the temperatures high, but gave us a taste of their vibrant colours of capoeira. Capoeira originated with the African slaves who were shipped to South America by the Europeans. Regular or Angola, capoeira combines self-defence and dance in an acrobatic display. Football fever was on an all-time high as Brazil's freestyle football champion Arturo showed off with Ronaldo-style moves and here's the best part, synchronized his every move to the music. holders, ballet and samba dancers, the talented team sure made the weekend blues disappear. Ananias holds the record for being the fastest acrobat with a record 38 flips in half a minute. 
Now, each member from the Brazil Brazil team are multifaceted individuals who are actively involved with spreading their talent around their country. Can't wait to see them perform again. Now, it's the festive season of performing arts and it was celebrated at the Museum Theatre in style, thanks to the Park Hotel's new festival. Events are raining heavy in the city these days. I've got not one, but two stories that will give you a slice of the festivities from this year's edition of the Fest. Lights, camera, action. And so the puppets came to life. This time in the form of light puppetry. Anurupa Roy's Kat Kata Puppets Art Trust brought Bollywood drama to the stage in a bandwagon of talent. Brought to the city by Prakriti Foundation, the performance was peppered with a healthy dose of Bollywood antics. Bollywood, Organizing the new festival for the fourth year in a row. The Park Hotel shows us why they're not just into hospitality. The six-day event every year showcases talent from around the country. The creative director of the festival is not just meticulous in his work, but also believes Chennai is open to many new forms of expression. I'm excited by the combination and the reactions we've had so far have been wonderful. So I'm hoping that we can make this an annual event on the cultural calendar of India. Well, the objective is actually to nurture uh, art and culture and promote expression through the various forms of art and culture. I think that is what the objective is, to uh, be able to allow people to be spontaneous and express themselves. That's what the Park Hotels has always been supporting, in, like I said, in its various forms. First was simple puppetry. Soon, a complete filmy drama unfolded. Projected onto an overhead screen, the storytelling experience came alive with Rocky and Moki who fall in love with a simple girl. What happens thereafter is a laughter riot, yet at the same time is a thought-provoking story with song, dance, loss and silence. Ma, ma, I'm going, ma. Puppet show left no stone unturned when it came to creativity and storytelling. Do I hear Bollywood calling? The new festival is sure to bring forth new and upcoming talent. Preeti Atriya, the local Chennai girl, spoke aloud with her actions. The sole performer held the audience's attention with Sweet Sorrow, a contemporary dance performance on the theme of loss, using elements of text, film and music. The story explores well-known cliches about loss and longing in two ways, through performance and personal expression. Retelling the loss in repetitive hand movements, the story progresses gradually using props like a bamboo chair to narrate one's human experience of indulgence in pain. This contemporary performance combines freestyle, classical dance, even yoga to reiterate actions do speak louder than words. 
Preeti Atria's talent is taking her places and this local Chennai girl has made the city proud with her recent performance at the Commonwealth Games. Now we'll take a quick break here but don't go anywhere, it's the musical segment that's coming up next. Go Going Gone, the effects of the Go Madras Music Fest.